Hi everyone, this is Danai, and in today's video, I want to talk about how to produce a forte, but still very warm and round sound. Very often when we have loud passages with big chords and octaves, the danger is that they can sound a little bit harsh. So today I chose one of those passages and I want to demonstrate what I do, technically speaking, which parts of my bodies I use, and also what I imagine mentally in order to produce a warm sound. So if you're interested in that, then keep on watching. So the very first thing that I want to talk about is posture. And this is also why I'm filming this so that you can see my profile, because I think this is what's most important when talking about this kind of playing. It's not so much about finger placement, but more so about where my arms are, where my shoulders are, and how much I lean into the piano. So if I have a big chord, for example, in this passage, one of the big chords with bass and upper chord is this one. I will automatically lean in a little bit in order to help because if I'm far away back here, I don't have as much control and I'm not as attached and connected to the sound compared to when I'm here. At the same time, I will try to use the strength that comes from my whole arm. So I won't just do my fingers in a short and harsh sounding forte, but I will use the entire weight coming from here. So I will really lean onto the keys and put some body weight onto the keys. Another thing that I would like to discuss is sound distribution. So when you play a chord, there are many different options of which voice you want to stand out more than the other one. So for example, there is the option of making the upper voice stand out, something that is done very often because often the upper voice is the melodic line, so, or the octave. Now, when wanting to produce a very warm sound, your focus should be on the bass because the bass is what creates this very warm foundation for the sound to unfold. create a very warm forte sound, I will make sure to put a lot of bass into it. If you compare a little bass to a lot of bass, you will see that the sound using a lot of bass sounds more convincing to me at least. Also, just logically speaking, the bass strings are so much longer, they vibrate more because they are longer, so you can just simply use the build of the piano to your advantage and use those resounding chords and make that sound unfold into the big hall or into your room. One of my main tips that I can tell you is that the way to prevent a harsh sounding forte but still produce a very loud forte is to not have your hands come from very high up. This is something that my teacher used to tell me. He would always say in German, he would use the expression an der Taste, which means basically means on top of the key, so directly on the key and not coming from here. So if I'm flying from up here in a very fast way, it's a different sound than if I'm already here and just pressing it with weight. or directly on top of the key is something that I would very much recommend and that I would strongly suggest to look into because I find it very helpful. Whenever I have big sounds where I still want to sound very deep and warm, I always remind myself, okay, stay close to the key and use your weight instead of force. to 
talk about is a mental image and it is the mental image of using weight. I already shortly mentioned this at the beginning when I said use your body weight and lean into the piano instead of force, but I actually also mean it in a metaphorical way. I remember my teacher telling me this story once about hearing Radu Lupu in a concert and he mentioned that it was a passage that was very grand, full of chords and probably it said fortissimo and he said Radu Lupu probably objectively didn't play anything more than a mezzo forte but there was so much gravitas in his sound and so much weight that seemed to be in that sound that it sounded so convincing and so all-encompassing that he didn't need the sheer volume in order to project it. I think that's a very interesting point as well to just imagine gravitas and to make your sound sound very heavy so to speak heavy or warm and thereby make it sound loud instead of just focusing on screaming you know on simply being loud. <laughs> that probably is kind of obvious but it still is very important because it's something that I also have to remind myself of even still today and it is to of course keep your shoulders down sometimes when we don't think about it we might put those shoulders up because we want to create such a big sound and tense up but that doesn't help really it's important to stay relaxed and to let all of that energy flow into your fingers and to use the relaxed shoulders and your entire body to your advantage. that the idea that you have to be a very strong muscular or heavy person in order to be able to create a forte sound is definitely not right. I often have people telling me after concerts, oh we didn't expect you to be able to create such a big sound because you are such a tiny person and I always laugh at that because that's not how a forte sound is created. So if you're someone that is not super muscular or not very big or have a small frame or whatever, definitely don't think that that's a disadvantage. You simply have to use your body and if you use the right techniques and the right mental images, you will be able to create a very big sound. important takeaways of this video are the technique of playing directly at the key and not from up here in order to create a warm sound. Then the fact that a loud forte and an impressive forte doesn't necessarily only mean sheer volume, but sometimes an objectively lower volume with the right type of gravitas and weight on top of it can actually even sound more convincing. So these were my thoughts on how to create a loud, warm forte sound. Let me know what you think about that. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, 
please leave it a like and subscribe to my channel. That would help me a lot. And please share your thoughts with me in the comments down below. Let me know if you have more advice on how to create such a warm sound and if you agree or disagree with what I said. And I will see you again in my next video next week. Bye.